What's up, Basketball Brain fans and members? Today, I want to talk about cockiness versus confidence because it's a subject that's easily confusing. What is the difference between being cocky and being confident? Because you don't want to be cocky, you want to be confident. Well, to begin with, cockiness is an, an inflated state. It's puffed up by one's own thinking, and that's it. It's empty. It's easily poked and popped. It's kind of like a big balloon. It's built on pride, and it doesn't have a whole lot of substance to it. Cocky players often speak of injuries before the game, so they have an excuse as to why they may or may not play bad. They start to prepare the field for failure. They want to make sure you know there's something wrong with them. They'll have relationship problems. There's always something going on with cocky players. They're really good. So if something goes wrong, there's a reason it went wrong, and they start planting those seeds before the game. Confidence, on the other hand, is built on sort of a rock solid foundation. It's also built up by positive thinking and thinking highly of oneself and believing in oneself. It's also made of hard work and long hours in the gym. It's built up upon positive compliments from others who are respected, respected peers and coaches. So that's also part of confidence, let's be honest, but it's a small part of it. it. The external stuff of people you trust telling you you're good. Because even if that's gone, a confident player is still confident because they believe in their work ethic, they believe they're going to maximize their potential. Cocky players sort of strut around in a fake uh, pseudo-confidence. They stick their chest out, they lift their chin up, and you can kind of see it. A confident player just walks with purpose. Uh, Cocky players are focused on what other people are thinking, and they live in a world where they're trying to guess what other people are thinking about them. They're in the minds of others. They're others. They're not in their own bodies. They're not in their own minds. They don't own themselves. They're actually controlled by the thoughts of others in a way. Confident players are so in the present moment, they live in a world where they only care about playing their best and maximizing their potential. Cocky players tell you about what they're going to do. Confident players, as the saying goes, let their play do the talking. But that's that's true. That's what they do. They just go out there and handle their business. Cocky, cockiness is really low self-esteem that is covered up by an inflated self-esteem, by a high self-esteem. Cocky players can't stand the truth about where their skill set really is, so they compensate by overcompensating. Confidence, on the other hand, is based on real self-esteem. Confident players don't think they are the best, but that they'll give their best, that they're going to go after their potential, that they're going to exercise their potential. They have faith and expectation of a good performance because they've done the work mentally and physically. Confident players are also emotionally cool and warm. They're never like too cold and lazy, and they're never too like out of control, uh, too hot. They're not on a tripwire. They're not easily going to be upset. Confident players are in control of their emotions, again, because they're not worried about what other people think. Cocky players, on the other hand, are erratic emotionally. They're all over the place. A bad call, a bad play, a coaching decision. Another player doing well on their team can knock a cocky player out of his zone. Uh, Another player talking trash on an opposing team can knock him out of their zone. Somebody in the stands. Cocky players are very externally aware. They're not in a good way. They're aware of what's being said around them, how other players are doing. Again, they're not in themselves. So they often act out, get technical fouls or pout, uh, terrible body language. Cocky players are usually the laziest players you'll meet. They don't want to work hard because if they work hard and fail, then they really don't have an excuse. Confident players are the hardest working players you'll meet. They go out and they put in the effort and they're not afraid to say, I gave it my all and maybe I came up short. Cocky players are about stats. Confident players are about winning. Cocky players are insecure if they're ever going to get their shots, so they tend to force the game. Confident players, they have faith and confidence that the shots are going to come their way if they play the right way. So they don't force things. They make things happen only like when it's crunch time and if the team's struggling. Most of the time, they let the game come to them. Cocky players actually hide from the ball in crunch time, again, because they don't want their ego demolished if they fail. Confident players seek crunch time. They want the ball in crunch time. Cocky players have linked how they play the game as who they are to who they are as human beings. If they play well, they think they're great people. They think they're better than they are because they did something great on the basketball court. If they play poorly, they hate themselves. They think they're worthless. They think they're trash. Confident players, on the other hand, while they want to play well, they prefer to play well, 
if they play badly, they don't hate themselves. They know that they just had one bad performance and they believe all failure is temporary and they can adjust and adapt. Cocky players end up on the bench. Confident players end up as all-stars. So in the end, be confident and don't be cocky. It's an easy distinction to make. Just work hard and believe in yourself. And if you want to get more sophisticated about what it means to develop confidence, check out Basketball Brain's full program. There's a lot in there about how to develop confidence. BasketballBrain.com, we're dedicated to your greatness.